Hello dear students, how are you all doing today? I hope you all are doing good. As I told you in the previous lesson, today is singing time and a jolly time. I know you might have been waiting for this lesson. Children, look at this. Do you know what is this? I brought a guitar to play while singing today's poem. You need to sing along with me with rhythm. Are you ready? Do you like this instrument? Yes, while singing rhyme, I am going to sing along with this instrument. Are you all ready? That will be so joyful. I hope you will surely enjoy this poem. Okay, children. Now, do you remember the last lesson? What was it about? It was about Sita and her mother. Do you want to recall what happened in the last lesson? Yes, then you must watch this video. This is a government primary school. You can see Sita, Radha and Sanya. They are close friends. All the time they like to stay together and play together. Children, you also have friends like this, don't you? Yes, it's a good thing to have friendship like that. It was evening. The school bell rang. Ring, 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 ring. Sita, Radha and Sanya were coming out of the school gate. Because it was a last bell, they are so happy with smiley faces and going back to their homes. Friends, will you come to my house to play? Yes, I will come, Sita. I will also come, Sita. Friends, come soon. Sita ran very fast to her house because she wants to finish her homework and play with her friends. Sita changed her dress and left the uniform on the cot. And then she took her books and started writing her homework. Children, do you do your homework soon after you go to your home? Yes. Look at Sita, how nicely she is writing her homework. While Sita was writing her homework, what happened, you see? Hi, Sita. Hello, Radha and Sanya. Come, let's play. Look at Sita, Radha and Sanya. How nicely they are playing with the toys. They spread all the toys on the floor and nicely started playing. Children, you also like playing like this, don't you? Yes, you really feel good when you play with your friends. Sita took her book and reading something and all three friends, Radha, Sanya and Sita, they are reading together. While they are playing in Sita's home, Radha suddenly looked out of the window. Look at outside from the window. It was growing dark. Sita, it's getting dark. We'll go home. Yes, it was growing dark. Yes, Sita, it's getting dark. We have to go home. Okay, bye Sita. Okay, bye. Good night. Good night. After Radha and Sanya went back to their homes, Sita were playing alone at home. And look at the house. The house was messy with many things. There were clothes everywhere, there were toys everywhere, and there were books everywhere. And Sita was nicely playing with her toys. Then Sita's mother came from farm and she was surprised to look at the messy house. And she was so angry. Sita, what is this? What a mess you have done, Sita. You have thrown the books, clothes, toys here and there. You made the total room messy. Sita, let's clean up the room, dear. Yes, Amma. Now, Sita and her mother both folded all the clothes and they nicely kept all the clothes together. 
keep them in the shelf, Sita. As you say, Amma. Now look at Sita. She is picking all her books which were thrown on the floor. And you can see she wants to put all her books neatly on the table. Keep your books in your school bag. Then Sita nicely kept all her books in her school bag. Amma, I need a new notebook for English. Raja! Raja! Yes, Amma! Yes, Amma! Go and bring one English notebook for Sita. Sita's brother Raja ran very fast to the stationery shop and he gave money to the shopkeeper and shopkeeper took the money and gave an English notebook to Raja. Then Raja quickly returned back to his house and then he gave that English notebook to Sita. Sita took her book and kept neatly in her school bag. Now pick up your toys, Sita. Sita gathered all her toys together. Where shall I keep this toy, Amma? Sita's mother brought an old cardboard box and they filled that toy box with all the toys. Then Sita pushed the toy box under the cot. Very good, dear. This is what you must do before going to bed every day. Yes, Amma. I like it this way. Good night, dear. Good night, Amma. Was the role play? Wasn't it good? You can also do role plays like this for poems and stories. You know that I am with my guitar. Now I am going to play and sing this poem. Let's sing all together with music. Are you ready? Sita's brother loves sweets more than carrots and beet. Sweets for breakfast, munch, munch, munch. Sweets for lunch, munch, munch, munch. Sweets for supper too. Not one, but two by two. Sita's brother is very tall, but has no at all ha 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 every month at Raja Finally, before concluding the lesson, let's recollect the poem once again. Watch this video. Sita's brother loves sweets more than carrots and beets. Sweets for breakfast much, much, much. Sweets for lunch much, much. Sweets for supper two, not one but two by two. Sita's brother is very tall, but has no teeth at all. Ha ah, ha ah, ah, ha ah, ah, ha ah, ah, ha ah, ha ah, ha ah, ha. Ah, ah. Loves everyone at Raja. Okay, children, how was the video? Now you tell. Is eating sweets for breakfast? Sweets for lunch and sweets for supper a good habit? No, no, not at all. I know you all are good children and you don't eat like Raja. Okay? It's not healthy eating more sweets. Pillalu, sweets ekko thinadamu manchiri kaadu. Okay, children, today we have enjoyed and learned many things. With this, we have completed Unit 3. That's all for today, children. And you all have a joyful day. I'll catch you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.